What is going on guys? Welcome back to the free trading game collection. This video is going to be very different from the videos that you're used to. I owe you an explanation. I owe myself an explanation and I'm going to try and do it without editing too much. There will be a few little cuts here or there, but generally speaking, I'm just going to sit here and talk at you. So it's been over a week, I think, since I've uploaded. It might even be two weeks at this point. I really couldn't tell you. There may be a reason for it. I'm not really sure what the reason is, but let's just try and go through that as best as I can here. So the first of which which is I just feel like I've burnt myself out with YouTube. And if you've only been following the video game side of things, maybe you don't really see how that can happen. But I have been on YouTube since 2012. And from 2012 to 2022, I did FIFA and nothing else. Well, maybe like Football Manager thrown in here or there in the odd other random video, but FIFA daily. I uploaded between one and four videos a day. And then when I transitioned into this, I was given a little bit more time between videos because I can kind of do it as and when I please. You can't really do these daily. There's just not enough content to do it. But ultimately, I feel like I've still burnt myself out. The thought of editing a YouTube video just uh, makes me feel a little bit sick. I can't be bothered to do it. It takes so long. It's so boring to do. Listening to your own voice over and over and over again, going to find the clips, putting it in, moving things around, it grates on you after a while. Sitting down and recording this isn't the problem. Going out and getting the footage isn't really the problem either. But the editing side of things is something that I really don't want to do. And the thought of it put me off and that's kind of why there were no videos. Or at least that was part of the reason why there haven't been any videos. The other part is I do feel like a little bit of a fraud and I didn't really know what to do when it comes to videos in general. See, lately a few things have popped up that I've needed or wanted money for. It's nothing drastic and it's definitely first world problems. It wasn't like I needed to put food on the table or we needed a new boiler because we ran out of hot water and the boiler broke or anything. It was nothing like that. It was more luxury items. So I wanted a new pair of shoes, for example. I've been doing like a ridiculous amount of running lately. I don't know why I'm, I'm trying to get faster in a certain distance and I am training in order to get to the speed that I want to, to get to. Why? literally no reason whatsoever. I don't plan on competing. I don't think I'm good enough to compete anyway. I know you can do, you know, five, 10K half marathon, marathon races, and you don't really need to compete against anyone. You can just do it against yourself essentially, but I don't even plan on doing those. I just want to be faster in the, uh, the discipline that I've chosen, I guess. Uh, and, and I've been putting a lot of time and effort into that. Have also gone through a fair few injuries, which has, not, I wouldn't say it's left me depressed. We're not going down that hole, but I have been very annoyed and, and frustrated at the fact that I can't run sometimes. So maybe I should have done YouTube to take my mind off it. Anyway, going off on a tangent. There is another reason, of course, and I've mentioned it before. At the end of the year, I am going to Florida and we're going around the Halloween time. It's going to cross over into Christmas as well. And I know full well I'm going to need a lot of money, not just because it's an expensive holiday in the first place. You know, your ticket's going to cost you over a grand. Disney tickets are 500. If you want to go to Universal, that's going to cost you 300 or so you know they've got a massive tip culture over there so just because you see 20 quid on a menu doesn't mean it's going to cost you 20 because they do expect a tip so yeah there's a lot that goes into a trip away to somewhere like america and especially to somewhere like orlando where it is the you know, the, the theme park capital of the world, essentially. There's just so many things to do there. And when you go around Halloween and you've got a wife who is obsessed with Halloween, you have to do Halloween Horror Nights. And then you may have to do Mickey's Not So Scary. And if you don't know what any of this is, it's essentially just Halloween themed events in these theme parks that costs a lot of money. And I'm self-employed and I don't earn lots and lots of money. So something had to give. And what am I surrounded by? Money video games to be specific. So as the title suggests, I have started to sell off my collection. Now I don't plan on selling my entire collection. There are some things that are safeguarded and that I don't think I, I can ever get rid of really. Uh, for one, my Mega Drive collection isn't going anywhere. I will never sell any of my Mega Drive games, let alone the entire collection. I thought my Switch collection was safe, but unfortunately that's taken the brunt of the sell-off. Now, it's not all going. I definitely am keeping a handful of Switch games, but for the most part, I am going to sell nearly all of it. Um, Perky Little Things is staying because the value of that right now is mental and it's just going up and up and up and I've mentioned it in other videos before. When I picked it up I said I wouldn't be surprised if this starts going for, for silly money and it started going for silly money and now CEX is trying to get over 40 quid for it. I paid around 20 still going up. 
There are a couple of other games, like Arcade Paradise, one of my favourite games of the last 10 years, keeping that one. And there are a couple of others as well, and I might go through that in a future video. But for the most part, I've started selling off the games that I've at least finished. So Pokemon Sword and the Steelbook, gone. I got more than I paid for that. And that's the beauty of this collection as well, in a way. None of this owes me any money. So when I sell it, yeah, I can say, well, it cost me this much. But ultimately, because it's all free for no money out of pocket, because that's what the whole series was about, this is free money. So if I wasn't recording this for YouTube, the way that I've worked it out in my mind was this is all the money, essentially, that I would have made by reselling, which is what I do besides. So everything you see on the shelf would have just been stock. So that's why I'm trying to treat it as. It took me a long time to even list one item. It took me a long time to take something off the shelf and go, right, I'm selling you because I don't want to sell any of it. Uh, and you can call me a fraud of a collector if you want, and that's absolutely fine. But I'm definitely of the mindset of I could die tomorrow. So my question is, did I enjoy today? So when I'm selling all this stuff off, I'm using the money to enjoy myself. I am doing things that I probably wouldn't normally do, and I don't know why that is, but I've never really had a lot of money. So when I'm selling all these things, and I'm getting 30 and 50 and 60 quid rolling in here or there per sale, I am sort of splashing a little bit on things I wouldn't normally buy. I'm drinking a lot of Starbucks that I wouldn't normally do, which is definitely a luxury that I should definitely cut down on because it is very expensive. But also, I've bought a couple of new pairs of like running trainers and tops to go with it and a few football shirts and things that I probably shouldn't be buying. But also the money is going towards Florida and paying for all these things that I want to do at the end of the year. My thought process behind that was I am not playing these video games right now and some of them I've finished and I don't know if I'll ever play again. Pokemon Sword, I keep going back to, is the one that sticks out for some reason. I really enjoyed that game. Played through it in a week sat there, played it whenever I possibly could, and I loved it, and I really did enjoy it, but do I really see myself sitting there and playing it again anytime soon? Absolutely not. Um, because I had the Steelbook, put them both together, and I got a premium for it. I think I got nearly 30 quid for two of those, whereas you wouldn't get that for that game by itself. And if I traded it into CEX for cash, which I did look at, yeah, not going to do that. I've sold the other Switch uh, that I got as well. I mean, the one that I picked up for like 60 quid on Facebook Marketplace. I said my wife was going to have it. It's been a little bit of a change of plan. She's going to have my Switch for the trip, not permanently. She's just going to use my Switch on the plane. I've got a laptop that I'm going to just play Football Manager on. I'm addicted to that again. I bought a laptop a few months ago uh, to edit videos on. <laughs> I, I've edited one video on it. I don't know why I did it. But yeah, I've just been playing Football Manager on it every single day for about three or four hours here or there, just bashing away at Football Manager. I don't, I just, I can't get off it. I'm addicted to it. Anyway, she'll use my Switch. I'll probably take my laptop, play some Football Manager, watch whatever it is on the plane. It doesn't matter. The Switch is gone. I sold that recently. 140 quid I think I also threw in the Pikachu controller that I picked up with it so yeah that was a pretty good deal 60 into 140 and there was a game that came with it that I also traded into CEX a while ago so that was a pretty good deal uh, overall but um, yeah a lot of the Switch games are going to go but like I said I will keep a fair few I've sold one PS4 game South Park Fractured But Whole I got from Insane Games quite a long time ago now and it cost me a fiver and I sold it for 25 quid. I didn't buy that in order to sell it. In fact, when I bought it, it was only like two pound cheaper than CEX. Uh, but I bought it because I do quite like South Park. I did plan on playing through it. But when I was going through my games to see what was valuable and what I could get some money for, and I didn't really mind selling. Um, when I scanned that, into CEX, it had gone up in price, and that was just the standard version. So I went on eBay to have a look at the deluxe version, which comes with the postcards and the little art book and things. And yeah, it was going for quite a lot of money. Mine had the promo disc as well, which they don't all come with. It's you know the sort of white disc with the red writing on it which you know, people who work in places like Game and Friends of the Company and whatever, they would have probably got them press releases and things. I've had a fair few for Pro Evo in the past. Um, yeah, I don't know whether that bumped up the price or anything, but £25 plus postage, it sold the very same day that I listed it. Uh, but that only cost me a fiver, so I was quite happy with that. The things that are not going to go anywhere in my collection are my Mega Drive games. I won't sell my Mega Drive games. They're not going anywhere. However, when it comes to things like the Switch, I will... Batter that collection right down. The Wii U 
collection it's not really worth an awful lot so i don't really see myself selling it and my wii u itself i don't think i'm gonna sell that either however when it comes to my ds or my 3ds i probably will in fact i have already listed that i will sell that off i'm trying to get a premium for it so it probably won't sell anytime soon but i'm gonna sell all the games as well thundercats is something that surprised me i think that cost me six pound when i bought it it's gone up to around 20 quid now so pretty impressed by that so that's gonna go as well but these are all things that i'm willing to sell off right now because they don't really see me playing them uh, anytime soon and I want the money to enjoy life right now rather than have all this money on the shelf for things that I never intend on playing or at least I don't see myself playing anytime soon I'd rather just free up the cash go and use that to enjoy myself on a holiday go to video game stores in Florida and look at some of the games that they have that you can't really get over here. There are quite a few limited run games that I would like to get on the Switch and there are probably going to be some Genesis games that uh, maybe are too expensive on the Mega Drive or that I don't really see over here that often. I want to go to a couple of retro video game stores, maybe some flea markets or whatever it may be, have a little look around and if I do want to pick some stuff up there then I will. What does that mean for content going forward? Well ultimately it does mean that there won't be any figures on screen i'm not going to show you the collection value how much credit we have well i mean if i do have credit i will show you what's left over obviously but not going to show you a cash balance not going to show you the collection value or anything because to be honest i don't know the answer to that the cash balance by now is going to be massive but at the same time i have spent a lot of it already so it's not really going to be massive so i don't know the figure the collection value is wildly different to what it was last time you saw a video because i have sold a lot of the stuff off so again i'd have to go through it all and because I'm still selling stuff off, I don't see me actually going through it to find out how much it's still worth. So the figures, they're gone. We're not going to do them anymore. In terms of my collection, I will still show you what I still have in the collection, what I'm selling off, what I'm keeping and whatever. But uh, just know that the Mega Drive stuff not going anywhere. I'm going to try and look to build that out as much as possible. The Switch collection will deplete massively, but I am still going to keep a handful of games uh, that I want to play or ones that i really do feel that have got a lot of room to go up in terms of value other consoles i'll get to them as and when i get to them i'm just going to go through them bit by bit and sell off what i want bit by bit same with the consoles if i don't really see myself playing the console anytime soon i can sell that off get the money use that for what i want and then eventually i can buy it back again it's not like i'm never going to find these things again we found them once we can find them again videos going forward will remain as they are more or less anyway i'm still going to show you what i've picked up i'm still going to go to cex and trade stuff in we're still gonna uh, add games to the collection but i'm going to be very choosy about what i add to the collection i'm now primarily looking at mega drive games to add to the collection but also i still want to add xbox 360 games there may be the odd ps4 game that goes in but to be honest i don't really see my myself buying many playstation 4 or even playstation 5 games for the foreseeable i'm gonna wait for them to drop right down and i may even wait until i come back from florida before i I start picking that side of things up again but xbox 360 definitely maybe some ps2 as well because some of those are cheap that i want to pick up but definitely the mega drive the mega drive is one of those that i can see me building out quite uh, substantially and i don't really see myself selling many if any of those games because I, I just have that much of a nostalgic feeling for that console i can't bring myself to sell those and in fact i do want to build those out wii u is kind of the same as the mega drive for some reason i have a massive nostalgia feeling for a console that i didn't own I don't really understand it myself, but uh, I do still want to add to that side of my collection as well. So I don't really see myself selling many or any of my Wii U games, and especially the console. The controllers and things, that's different. I will probably get rid of those because, again, I can get them back again. It's not that big a deal. don't really see the controllers going up in price over time. The games, however, the games will. So I apologize if this has annoyed anyone, and I know a lot of people that I bump into are like... I really enjoy the videos, I really love the series and that might change your opinion of this channel or me in general but something had to give and I wasn't happy with what I was doing in life and I wanted to enjoy other things and in order to get the money I've needed to do what I'm doing now so I do apologise that's just kind of the way life is sometimes. But uh, you can still look forward to some videos because I will still be uploading. The videos may drop down to like one, possibly two a week. I still want to do the uh, discussion videos where I just run with a topic for five or ten minutes. And I still want to do the pickups and go to CEX and things. I apologize if that content isn't really what you're after here. And unfortunately, it's kind of something that I've had to do to 
pay for other things uh, and that's just where I am in my life with it but um, I'm sure you've been through many a, a situation like that where you've wanted something or you've needed to go somewhere you've ne even not a first world problem you ha have actually needed money for a bill or for food or whatever and you've had to sell off part of your collection I'm sure you've been there and it's not something that I wanted to do and I'm sure it's not something that you've ever wanted to do but sometimes you just got to do it in order to facilitate other parts of your life I want to say thank you to all the people that I bump into in boot sales as well I do bump into a lot of you it takes me by surprise time and time again I did YouTube for 10 years with FIFA and I didn't bump into one single person who recognized me or say oh hey I watch your videos I really like your videos when it comes to this kind of thing I bump into people all the time it is still surreal to me and I appreciate you greatly so if you've ever said hello to me in a boot sale or CEX or on the street or whatever uh, you mean the world to me thank you very much for watching I will continue to upload videos and I'm hopefully going to try and make them ent as entertaining as possible but just know there'll probably be a couple of extra days in between videos now just so that I don't completely run myself into the ground and, and turn myself off doing it completely if you want to see another video from myself where I did pick up something and it was a lot more interesting interested in this hot mess you can click here and until the next time goodbye